name is Chris Dalijen and in today's video I will be talking to you guys on how to get the one but the question away. How would you get the one? I'm going to give you some small anecdotes. I'm going to give you some simple ideas on how you could get the one for you. So basically what I notice is that um, in Christianity when you're doing this you first you most of the time you you pray you you pray to ask god for the desired person right you could ask god for the desired person through prayer so you pray you ask god for the desired person that's step one and since he's a reasoning and thinking being he will either give you a dream he could give you a premonition a vision or you could get a sister or a brother to come to you and say something about concerning what you had concerning what you had asked. Or you'll notice that the person will come your way. So a lot of times in Christianity, another thing I've noticed is that while after you finish praying, you ask God for okay, you ask God, okay, Lord, give me a specific person or give me let me meet the right one for me what you will notice is that you will go about most times you can go about your business and out of the blue you meet somebody and it'll be undeniable that that's your person so i find that a lot of the sisters and brothers that i know the way that they met is when they completely did not expect it they least expected it that's when they met the right person for them or it's like somebody they never looked at that way before then they begin to look at them that way and they saw that that was a perfect match in every way so then what I notice is that sometimes you can actually you could actually have somebody in your life that's the right person for you but you don't have the eyes yet to see that so then what ends up happening is that once you, you, you pray to God, he will open your eyes to see, okay, this person, okay, this person was right for me all along, right? So another thing is when you pray, um, especially if you pray in your heart, what I've noticed is that uh, God could speak to you to, to a sister. He could speak to a sister. He could, you could see the event unfold right before your eyes, or he could answer you in a dream. So for me, I remember specifically, uh, or the Holy Spirit could speak to you, right? By the way, I've had certain instances where the Holy Spirit has speaking, spoken to me, and it has been a very interesting experience where, and all I have to say is that when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it's like, when he speaks to you, it's like you, it's not you. You know it's the Holy Spirit. It's not an audible voice. It's not, it's not like I'm speaking to you right now, but it's a feeling that tells you that something else is speaking to you. It's, it, it's, it's like a still small voice. That's what, how I could say it. Um, I remember one time while I was, while I was in an event, the Holy, Holy Spirit spoke to me and he's spoken to me a few times and i knew it wasn't me and i knew it must have been god right so then another thing is that he could speak to you in a dream so within a dream what you would notice is that you could ask him a question you could pray and then in the dream he would reveal to you and you would have no shadow of a doubt that that's god so then one time when i was feeling particularly low and i was feeling overworked i was feeling down i went i basically asked god a question in my heart and when i asked him the question in my heart what ended up happening is that night i went to sleep and the the dream i had just prior to waking up in the morning it was about eight o'clock and the dream prior to waking up i had a dream it was it was the most memorable dream i have till now and and what I, all I can say is that he definitely answered everything I asked him, right? So one thing I have to say that's surprising about when you begin to consult with God is that he's an intelligent being, right? So you will see coincidences, 
coincidences right by the way i don't i don't really believe in coincidences i never believe that things just happen i actually believe there's there's angelic beings and there's helpers of god angels who help him to orchestrate certain events right because i think everything is by intelligence there's no such thing as a coincidence right i've had certain situations where i just thought something or i just i thought okay i can't trust this person or this this person this person there's something wrong with this person and then what ended up happening is i find clues later on to to prove me right so basically i believe that the consequence coincidences there's no such thing as a coincidence i believe that everything works together like in synchronicity but i believe they all work together for for a greater for a greater reason right so then basically you guys what i've noticed is that usually when when the the brothers and sisters i've known at least have met people that were very compatible to them that were the one for them or there or in instances where they attracted a specific person is that they were going about their business going to community going to church um going to school doing their thing and then as they were doing all their activities then the right person came into their line of sight and when it happened it was perfect and they didn't need to do anything right because sometimes what you'll notice is that sometimes you could get very attached to attached you could get, you could get very attached to meeting someone that you begin to act in certain ways out of you could say desperation you could say um you're acting in a way where it's like you're trying to make it happen to a person that might not necessarily be right for you so when it's god you will definitely know the person there's a, a time i've said that when sometimes you put your foot in your mouth you can put your foot in your mouth. You can do a bunch of bad things. So the person that God will is picked for you, right? You could put your foot in your mouth. You could keep it in your mouth. You can basically do a bunch of mistakes. If that person's for you, they're for you. You can't mess it up, right? You literally can't do anything to mess it up. Unless you just basically say flat out, no, I don't want this. This is not mine. And even then, I've actually seen certain situations where the person was against it and then they had to it was like they were meant to be for each other right so basically you guys that's basically it that was basically my thoughts on how to get the one the christian way and what you'll notice about the christian way is that there's many facets to it right you're not obsessing over a, a guy or a girl and you basically go about your life you're, you're putting your focus on god the supreme being and you're basically going about your, your your life in the community in church in school and you're doing all the things you're supposed to be doing in your life and when you least expect it someone comes into your line of sights and basically um basically is the right one for you right so then you guys that's my video for today my name is chris Stanishen. have a lovely day you guys thanks See ya. Bye.